let's find our painting. My real concept behind that is I really want to promote other people to paint. I just want them to take this kind of same approach that I do is where don't think that you have to have this great composition or this a single focused idea and try to recreate it on the canvas so that way you feel like you've accomplished something. I want them to look at the, the medium in its flaws. I want you to look at the chunky paint. I want you to look at the, in, you know, like the brush that's ruined and how that paint applies to the canvas. And then try to look at those imperfections as the perfect point to express what you're thinking or what you feel. And I think that that's what I would like to get across. This is a show I think that has like all of my aspects. Like I finally have a collection of paintings that show what I'm trying to accomplish. They're interactive. I try to like make a, a majority of my paintings um, when I'm making them for myself um, to be interactive because I think that when you're competing with ideas like computers now, that the idea of paintings just being wall hangings is kind of a little outdated. So I want to make sure that the painting is a uh, it's kind of like something that lives with you, and so. In that way, I try to put aspects that you can interact with it like you would, uh, you know, other things. So I've, um, I've used a color theory with uh, chromium depth glasses on some paintings um, that will give it a distorted effect when you look at it. So you'll look at it without the glasses and you'll see it in a one format and then you put the glasses on and you'll see the intended format. And, uh, I think that's kind of interesting and trying to also put um, images on top of images on top of images. You may not even see some of the images that I intend for months or you might find some of your own that the lines that I've created because of the use of line and shade um, creates ideas for yourself. I think that the diversity of the number of paintings from uh, art festival and created a painting using the public and that's the responsible man project which is really an interesting painting um, to you know some of my own deep fears of paintings that I've done where I've like not finished it the struggle one of that's one of the ones that is in there it's called the struggle it's like that where I just can't finish it because if I did then where's the struggle um, you know but, uh, and then there's ideas like uh, the truth where it's, uh, you know, it's got the uh, glow in the dark paint on it. And the old concept of that is that you would have that painting in your house in a dark room and to entertain yourself, you'd go in there with a flashlight and you would draw on the painting with a flashlight. It does some really interesting things when you have a narrow flashlight on it and it's a lot of fun. To engage the viewer, that's my goal, is to engage the viewer in hopefully dialogue for themselves. I hope they have an inner dialogue and if there are other people around them, I hope they have a dialogue about the painting. That would be ideal. Um, but I want them to have an eye dialogue. I don't want them to feel empty when they look at it or puzzled or, you know, they might be puzzled after they have start thinking about what's going on. But when they originally look at it, I want them to grab onto at least one thing in that image and relate. I want them to relate to it. Whatever it may be. The color, they like purple or you know, that shape, they like that shape, or, you know, they see the, some of the imagery that I use and like, oh, I see that. Or it makes them think of something else, you know, like the, you know, an emotion or, you know, a poem or a song or whatever. But that's the goal is to, to make them think about what they want to, you know, because not all of us get the, uh, you know, like have that feeling. You know, some of us have the feeling to like, you know, want to go out and sell real estate or, you know, want to like, uh, you know, run a television station or, you know, want to, uh, you know, teach children to read and write. Some like jogging, right? You know, like whatever it might be. Yeah. Play sports, you know, like, you know, play baseball, play football or whatever. Like they want to read that every day. You know, I just want to paint or, you know, draw or do something that was like, you know, working towards a painting.